This is punishing stuff from England. What an extraordinary shot that is. Giant score by England. This is excellent from Plunkett. England's World Cup campaign is back on track. Yeah, we're obviously pleased to get the win. I think that we obviously knew it was a must-win game. I think that we played cricket that we have been playing over a period of time. That's the wicket they wanted. We speak about it a lot. You've just got to keep being positive. You go into your shell and obviously it defeats the purpose of how we play our cricket. And hopefully that's the ball rolling for the next few games. He's let his bat do the talking. We've been a little bit frustrated that obviously in a couple of games we haven't necessarily put in the performances that we want. It was good to get everyone together and chat about it because that's the good thing about being part of a team, that people have different ideas and different experiences of, of different competitions previously. Just nice to get stuff sort of out. Uh, even if we were winning, a lot of the times we do have a little meeting together. Sometimes revisit uh, sort of our method, our skills that we live by. Uh, so it's just good to get together, speak, speak open. And if you can do that as a team, that's always a good sign. If you're not playing in any squad and you're sat on the sideline, so sort of jealous you're not playing, you're allowed to be annoyed, that's part of the game. As long as you don't come across like that to the other guys, I want uh, whoever to get five for him to get 100, I want everyone to take a flying catch, but you're allowed to be annoyed inside because it means you want to do well, you want the team to win. And we get beat the, the two previous games and I'm not saying it was the wrong team or the right team, but you feel like you can't help them. So it was obviously nice to get on the park and to pick up some good wickets and be a part of a team that obviously won that game. Pudsey coming in and doing what he does, I think he's between overs 11 and 40, being the leading wicket taker over the last three years, so we know how good uh, he is. I know I'm not going to reinvent the wheel, I'm Obviously, came back into the game, so everyone's expecting me to take five for ten and be mysterious deliveries and stuff like that. It's just knowing my role in the game. I feel in good, good form for, for England for the last few years, and it's nice to know uh, what your role is. Try and hit the pitch hard, mix up my variations, and it's nice to break that, that partnership. Uh, if you can get a couple in the middle, that can change the game hugely. It's obviously more nervous going into the games you have to win, otherwise you probably get knocked out of the competition. But I think there's always nerve around the World Cup, and I think you've got to learn to like that. Uh, playing in big competitions, if you fear that nervousness, like, it's no good for you at all, but if you learn to like it, learn to use that to motivate you, give the extra energy, I think that's what the boys have been doing. And that's it. it makes you play your own game. If you get caught up in all the nervous energy, you might go against what you do. New Zealand are obviously a good team. They're one of the best in the world. They're playing some good cricket. Also, we know that we are being ranked number one in the world. That's for a reason. We've been consistent. We've played some really good cricket over the last few years. As that nervous energy that I said before, but you should be nervous to play for England. It's, you want to do well. You get to represent your country. It is a big game, but at the end of the day, it's a game of cricket.